Topics from the juniors is that I'm making a swing change with my coach or fixing my swing and I'm, I'm doing pretty good on the range and I'm hitting it good and I think I've got it, but then when I go to the course, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't seem to happen. I don't know what it is, so should I kind of revisit, change my swing thought, or should I stick with what I'm doing? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a great question because all of you kids out there, uh, boys and girls alike, you're, you're going to do these things. And people make, I don't like the word swing change, because the thing is, guys, is the way you move in your golf swing, from a neural standpoint, is like its own highway. Okay, so it's not it's not going to ever be gone. Change it. You always have. When you're that little kid from seven to eleven, you learned a lot of habits in that time that you're gonna probably have remnants of all of them for a long, long time. Okay. So you're either making you know, you're, you're, you're either making an improvement or an evolution to what you're doing or just change for the video because you're hurt would be one good reason to do it uh, because maybe you need to uh, be able to move the ball both ways. Maybe you need to be able to increase your distance. Maybe you need to be able to hit the more different types of pitch shots. Maybe you need to be able to roll the ball online more often with putting. So the idea that I've seen, and because I've done this for a long time, um, probably for longer than all of you have been alive, is the tendency is be very, 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 very serious about what it is you're going to do, okay? So make sure that you get with someone who's competent. Just because we're on a magazine and we're ranked as the best teachers, don't go off of those rankings as anything. You need to know that this is basically your future and you need to be able to understand that the decision you make on who you work with is important. Whenever I start with a new player, I get them screened by a physio, then I have my friend Mark Bull do 3D on their swing, and then I come up with a plan for what we need to do. Of course, I've had a lot of experience, I've had a lot of success, but that's really because I have, I have the smartest friends, I think. And so trying to utilize all these different elements to make sure that we're doing the right thing. Now, once we do that, and none of us really know what's right, but we definitely know what's wrong. So that's a big part of getting to what's right. Because what's right is kind of, we're on the middle of the ocean and what's right is the lighthouse. It's just letting us know that we haven't drifted too far away, okay? But we don't want to get that close to the shore either because it's really rocky. So that's kind of just the, the guiding light that we know we're in a good place. Okay, it might not feel good at the time, but that, that light is what keeps our faith in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So what I'll see normally with a player, in, in someone like Danny Willett, who you know, was seventh in the world and then fell all the way to maybe 450th or 60th. When we first started, Danny's body was, was hurt in many places. So we had to make the changes we did to make sure health and wellness was the first idea, performance was the second idea. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'd see good range sessions almost right away. But think about it, guys. When you're on the range, there's no consequence. There's really no self-judgment. A range shot is a range shot. It's really a shot that doesn't matter, all right, if we want to look at it, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but we have to go to the range. We have to make repetitions in the right mindset to go ahead and, and, and not the right mindset, but to be in the right place. So look, if, if you're really tired, don't go to the range and work on your swing because you have to be in a certain place uh, in your mind in order to upload the learning that you're having. And then the learning happens for hours and hours after you stop doing the, the, the processing. So the idea is that I think it's important for the kids to realize like with Danny, what we would see is like two better shots a day and then four better shots a day and then six and then eight and then 10, uh, which led all the way to um, then winning twice. Yeah to a last round where almost every shot was good. So that, that's kind of what you want to see. If people are telling you that it needs, that you need to get better before you, or you need to get worse before you get better, I wouldn't sign up for that program. What you need to understand is that when you're going to go and train something, there's a complexity as you're trying to learn a new pattern within your brain, but the brain is wanting to use the old pattern. The brain doesn't like strain cognitively. It likes ease. It doesn't like much. So, 
You have to be patient through that and then make sure that whatever you're doing, when you're making a change, make sure that's the only part you focus on. It's easy to get carried away into changing your takeaway and then changing your transition and changing all that. Just get the takeaway right first. Okay, so when you do start at the bottom of Mount Everest and you climb it, over 29,000 feet, it's 100,000 steps. So you just have to make sure that you make each step really clean and do it with complete concentration. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Know that it's a long game. But when you start right away, you shouldn't be shooting way worse scores because you're changing something. Because that change not going to really come into play. So if you're working with a, if I'm working with a player, I do remind them that when you're working on changing your swing, make sure you double up the time that you work on your chipping and your putting. Because the fact is, if you're coming to see me to work on your swing, you're not hitting it that well. But to be competitive, you still have to score. So you don't have to hit 18 greens in regulation that shoot a score. So just make sure you don't get kind of convinced into just hitting more and more balls and neglecting the other parts of your game. If you're, if you're, if you're making a swing change because you're not hitting the ball, so really, really focus on your short game and your putting at that time.